And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. Good one. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. He misses with that jab. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good counter punching. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Counter right. He just misses with that jab. Neither man really defending themselves. Lands with the right counter. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. The perfect counter lands. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Well, absolutely exhausted. What are you going to... Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. If you get in with a slugger, they want to work at their own pace. Use speed, frustrate, and take them out of their comfort zone. Make them tired, trip over their own feet. Get them angry. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. That punch lands. They defending. Nice shot with the left. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. He missed with that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. He is down big time on the scores. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Great one. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. A 
lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He threw the hook, didn't land. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Both men step back for just a moment. He got out of the way of that right hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, don't wait till load. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. Let's Here we go to the fourth round. Not a lot of defense here at all. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. There's a right hand. He misses with that jab. Hey, those punches add up. you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. <laughs> Trying to answer back. Neither man really defending themselves. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done.
Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Oh boy, the Miracle Man now in some trouble. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Missed him with that uppercut. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way, and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Yes, I like that round. Good round. Feel good? Good man. Keep doing what you're doing. The gaps will appear and you'll start powering out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Back. Here we go in the sixth round. Both men step back for just a moment. Left punch. We wanted action and they are delivering. And the referee may be called into act and he goes down. Not looking good for him right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Right punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Back. 
He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. To make... Here comes round seven. These punches coming from every angle. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. That left shot lands. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Uh-oh, code red time here for Daniel Jacobs. What is he going to do? And down goes Daniel Jacobs. One, two, three. Code red time here for Daniel Jacobs. What is he going to do? Neither man really defending themselves. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his rep. Can he finish the job? One round. There's the bell to start round eight. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tech. Can he close the shot? It happened. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. That is going to be one of those what happened next shots. Where did it come from? How did he land? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't get knocked down. He got knocked out. I mean, out, out. 